If you want to stop overthinking. Dear you, overthinking and anxiety go hand in hand. In fact, I'm certain that they're best friends. So it's trickier for the anxious mind to learn to stop overthinking. I promise I'm not here to tell you to simply stop thinking so much. If only it were that easy for us. Since we experience anxiety, we have to navigate certain tasks with a different level of effort and strategy. And that's cool. The first step for anyone who wants to stop overthinking is to become aware that they're doing it. So yay you, you've already accomplished that by meeting me here in this letter. There's actually nothing wrong with thinking about or analyzing the different circumstances and people you encounter in your life. However, when this is done to an excessive amount, it creates a false sense of control, while instead creating fear and anxiety over situations that don't exist. The truth is, none of us know what's going to happen. While overthinking may feel like it's helping you be prepared, it's actually causing you more harm than good. It may help to know that overthinking is just a defense mechanism. It's what happens when your thought patterns pair up with your internal alert system in an imbalanced way. Oh, hey, anxiety. Overthinking is just your mind's way of trying to prepare itself for all possible angles, scenarios, and situations that could go wrong or cause you harm. So, it's nothing to feel bad or guilty about. You just have to apply some practices to reduce this habit and let your mind and alert system know that it's safe to relax because there are other ways to resolve issues. There are a few things I do when I'm working up anxiety because I'm overthinking a situation. First, I give myself a time limit to mull over whatever I'm dealing with. I try to do an hour max, which is rather short considering I will literally spend days obsessing, analyzing, thinking, and talking about a single topic. You can gauge the severity of what you're facing and decide for yourself what an appropriate amount of time spent on it would be. Try your best to stick to that time limit. Remind yourself that you gave yourself this time limit to maintain a peace of mind and to reduce your anxiety. After this time is up, if you find yourself trying to slip back into thinking about it again or offering new what-if scenarios in your mind, literally tell yourself to stop either out loud or internally. Then occupy your mind with something else. There's so much life to be lived and experienced. It helps to distract yourself with other activities or responsibilities. Overthinking can be difficult to manage because we may not even recognize when it's happening. It helps to instead monitor your emotions. If you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed suddenly, ask yourself, what am I experiencing or thinking about that's causing this? It will quickly be brought to your attention if your mind has wandered back to that scenario. But no worries if this happens, love. Just gently bring your attention back to the present moment and focus on something in front of you. Which reminds me, positive self-talk works amazingly well with this too. I often soothe myself by repeating, I'm okay, everything is fine, over and over again until I feel better. I found that it works because if you tell your brain the same thing over and over and over again, it will soon have no choice but to believe you. In addition to soothing yourself, if you practice naming all the things that could go right and only focusing on them, it will reduce the need to overthink. Even if there's only one aspect that could go right, hone in on it and repeat it in your mind until you feel reassured enough to stop analyzing. In the event that you struggle to even name one thing, I've been there more times than I can count. It also helps to focus on the things in your life that you're grateful for. Gratitude is actually the best damn distraction for our problems. When you take the time to realize all the wonderful shit that exists in your life, it naturally makes you feel better and secure in your decisions and circumstances. 
Coping with anxiety is all about repeating activities that calm down your alert system in order to change the way your brain is interpreting your reality. Because reality is perception, and you, beautiful soul, have the ability to take yourself off of autopilot and become more aware of your thought patterns and the influence they're having on your life and moods. I know it's easier said than done, but it's not impossible. This is coming from someone who used to wake up and literally have panic attacks 15 seconds after opening my eyes. I feel your struggle. I know it's tough, but I truly believe in you. You got this. Good luck, Chelsea. There are some amazing people 